All right. So weed control um, is very important in pecan orchards. Um, you know, why do we need to practice weed control? Their competition, their competition for water, nutrients, and they, they could have some allelopathic um, effects on pecan trees, you know, other plants, um, things like that. And I wanted to bring up a study um, that Dr. Smith um, and Becky Carroll did at Oklahoma State, where they looked at the impacts on yield um, with vegetation surrounding pecan trees. And they looked at different sized rings around the trees um, where they applied some type of non-residual herbicide. So um, Roundup, I believe is what they used in this study. Um, the trunk diameters of the trees were not significantly different. And these trees uh, were actively growing. Um, I believe these were in, they were bearing and they were younger trees. I think they're like four or five years old. Um, so anyway, what they found from this study was that a six foot diameter around the tree or strip is what worked very best. And then also control wasn't necessarily needed throughout the whole entire year. If they did June through fall and then April through August, um, those timings were just as good as just keeping it bare the whole entire year. And I think a, a lot of that is due to just some of our cool winter annuals um, don't provide a lot of competition for pecan trees. And um, so anyway, I thought that was an interesting study. So some considerations for weed management in pecan orchards, you know, are they in rows or are they random? If they're in rows, then it's gonna be easy to have that herbicide strip. If they're random, then you're probably gonna have to do the, the ring um, around the trees. The age of the trees, it's, it's very important to practice good weed control when the trees are getting established. Um, another thing to mention is young pecan trees where their, their bark hasn't formed really well yet they're very susceptible to Roundup injury. So when orchards are becoming established, it's important to put some type of covering um, over that tree, you know, like some type of um, plastic a tube or something like that to protect the trees if you're gonna use some type of um, systemic herbicide like Roundup. Um, orchard floor cover, um, is important, sod, clover, they're all going to be um, a little bit different. Um, and of course, if you're grazing or not, um, because then you have to consider that um, with what you use for your herbicide because there'll be um, different REIs and grazing restrictions for each type of herbicide. Other considerations, you wanna know what type of weeds are present. One approach may not be successful. You might have to do a combination of things. Um, you know, for example, you might have to use um, a pre-emergent herbicide. Um, you might have to use a burn down. Um, you know, if it's a, a smaller area, you know, maybe you would put down some mulch, but in commercial situations, generally we're looking at using herbicides. Resistance management is not good to rely on one chemical because you can breed resistant weeds on the property. A lot of weed management in mature orchards in Arkansas um, is no herbicides, just by mowing. And there are some drawbacks. You do have to mow several times per year. It is expensive and you can get some damage to the trees. Um, 
The grass needs to be maintained about three to five inches. Um, and you know, just mowing is not enough to get pecan trees established well. They really need a good herbicide program. Some people will do shallow tillage and I do not recommend this often because pecan trees have a lot of feeder roots that are located um, about four inches under the soil, sometimes even less. So you can really damage the root system of a pecan tree with tillage. So, you know, be very careful if you make that recommendation uh, for weed control. Um, cover crops can be used. A lot of people will use clover um, or some other type of grass. Um, you know, it's really important that it's growing. When the pecans are not actively growing or they are competing with the pecans, the cool season legumes um, work nice, some winter annual grasses. A drawback, irrigation um, could be required to get a good stand. And we know that a lot of our orchards are not irrigated. Um, it can also complicate your chemical control program um, if the herbicide you apply also kills out your um, cover crop. So you wanna consider that if you're using a cover crop, that if you apply a herbicide that it's okay. Ryegrass um, is used, it's planted in the fall, allowed to grow until June. It's usually killed in place to create a mulch. Just know if you do this um, and you are gonna kill it and roll it down, um, it does require specialized equipment, um, a roller crimper um, and or Roundup. Um, here's a little table um, from OSU that Dr. Smith did, um, just looking at the seeding rates and the cost and when to put it out. So crimson clover, um, early October, and then um, red clover, you wanna get your clovers out um, pretty early. Another thing to um, remember with herbicides, we already talked about identifying the weed but also reading the label for precautions and directions of use. Um, it's very important that, you know, growers, everybody read labels and make sure that you wear the proper PPE. And some of the chemicals we use in pecan production cannot be applied um, without using a cab tractor. And so just something to think about. If grazing, which does occur in some of our orchards, make sure that those chemicals are labeled for forage. And if you try a new herbicide, um, it might be good to try on small acreage um, until you get the rate correct. You always wanna take into consideration your soil type, different soil types, um, bind to the herbicide in, a, in different ways. So it's very important to take that into account. Um, calibrating the sprayer, at least annually, um, is very important. So a couple of the things we have a lot of issues with in our area is purple and yellow nut sedge. I see that out and about a lot. Pretty easy to identify with the triangular stem. It's a grass. If you have trouble with ID um, and you're a grower, make sure you get that to your county agent. And then agents, I know most of you are really good at weed ID, but y'all know who to contact if y'all have issues with weed ID. Herbicides. So you can put out pre-emergent herbicides in pecan orchards. Um, we generally do a winter and a summer. And we apply it to the um, crop area before the weed seed germinates. Um, after we've burned everything down and we have nice bare soil, 
you have to have bare ground for a pre-emergent um, to work well. So some of the ones that we like to use, um, Princep is really good. Um, Surflan works really well. We also use Simazine. We use Simazine this year and we had really, really good results. Um, Post-emergence, a herbicide after a pre-emergent herbicide will not work once that weed has emerged. So once you have weeds, then you're gonna have to use a chemical um, that's contact or systemic. So our systemic herbicides, you know, they're translocated throughout the plant and they'll kill the foliage and usually the roots as well. If these reach the cambium of a tree, um, of the pecan tree, it can damage the tree. So you don't wanna use systemic herbicides around trees that have been injured um, or do not have good bark growth. Um, and examples of these are glyphosate, post, and fusillade. Contact herbicides work really good um, if you have good coverage. Also, um, you wanna use these guys before the weeds get too big. Um, it generally will kill the top growth, but not the roots. Um, and you have to do repeat applications for perennial weeds. So what I'm talking about here are things like Paraquat, um, AIM, which is Carfentrazone. Um, usually it'll take repeat applications until you can get things killed out. And this is just an example of the weed-free strip, um, sort of what we maintain here in Clarksville. This one's a little narrow. One thing about this strip too, is when you're applying your fertilizer, it gives you a really nice area to apply it. Um, and you know that the fertilizer is going to those trees versus um, the weeds when you're just applying it on a weedy ground. So for the weed-free strip, you wanna spray three to five feet on both sides of the trees. Um, you know, you can go through and use Paraquat and Roundup. Um, here are the trees, you can see they're very small and they have the trunk protectors on them to protect them from any herbicide damage. And the use of just regular sod between the rows are the most common. Um, you do want to avo avoid like the brush buster type nozzles and that puts out the really, really large um, droplets. We don't want to hurt the trees. Roundups are usually applied April, June, and August at a rate of one quart per 50 gallons of water to one acre. And that's a common rate. Native, uh, random plant, randomly planted pecan orchards, you can use the circle and maintain a five to six foot diameter circle around the tree. Very important during establishment. It improves survival, it improves the growth rate, and it reduces the time until production begins. So it takes about three to four years for a pecan tree to begin to produce. And if you don't maintain good weed control, I have seen that extended out um, into four and five years until they're producing. And you, you need tree protectors. A rule of thumb, generally, you want to use those tree protectors at least the first three years. So year zero, if we had a, a perfect weed control program in year zero before we planted, and we would eliminate perennial weeds before we planted, um, especially getting rid of Bermuda grass, Johnson grass in that area we planned on planting. And, you know, we could go down and burn down and make sure that we maintain that strip, or we could till and plant cover crops in that area and get the soil built up real nice. Um, so a couple of different options there. In the MP44, um, there's quite a bit of pre-emergent herbicides labeled. Um, I talked about a couple already. Um, we generally only put out about two 
pre-emerge and we clean up with Roundup. And here's just a, a list of a few things. Um, Simazine works really well, Surfland, Princep. Post-emergence, you know, we, we have a few things to use, glyphosate, uh, Paraquat, Post, which is a grass herbicide, Fusillade, um, all work pretty well. Let's see, newly planted. If it's newly planted, um, I would use a different pre-emergent herbicide than those that um, are used on a mature surfland or um, is is a really good product to, to use on newly planted trees. So that is something to stress. If it's newly planted, you're going to use a pre-emerge, then surfland is a really, really good one. Um, that's all I got for pecan weed control. Um, it sure is a lot easier than weed control and blackberries. <laughs> but if y'all have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. <laughs>